Oftentimes, creators' responses to videos are bad. I'm not going to sugarcoat that at all. These videos suck. Something I find genuine entertainment out of these responses are how desperately the creator tries to lie, shift the blame, twist the truth, which is technically just lying again. Look, you get the point. Quentin creators will try to be anything but honest with themselves in these situations. I've made a severe... You tricked me! Of course, since it's been a little while, I gotta mention Shannon, because like, come on. She's literally the perfect yet extreme example of anything related to content creators being bad people. Obviously, Garo Shadowblade also comes to mind, but that's a story for another day. Hmm? Hmm? Of course, there's other ways to screw this up without making a video attacking your critics or self-reporting and basically owning up to the main issue people had with you. There is... Flat out lying about events, which I think is actually pretty based. Refer to Camilla's community tab post. The endless pile of crap Theft King posts on Twitter whenever he's done something dumb. Kai and Omnia and that literal ash heap. Or you can double down on all of the issues people had with you. Ari, Theft King, again. Yandere Dev's endless folders of responses he's made over the years, etc. Now, when you add these not so good things to the FNF community. This is a video about someone who decided to do that thing FNF YouTubers do to kids, and has tried multiple times to get away with it by changing her identity. Since I'm talking about it, it clearly didn't work. This is a video about Mirth, and her horrendous response to the drama. Before the video though, this video was sponsored by Lindlands. Wait, who put that in the script? Who, who put that in the script? If you would like for these numbers to go up, then please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit that almighty 50k subscribers this year, so it'll help a lot. I have a Discord and a Twitter if you care about these things and want to interact with me too. Anyway, back to the video. As I do with these types of videos, I have to apply the correct level of context to this. Murph. Tomodachi is an animation YouTuber who mostly makes content around Friday Night Funkin', Five Nights at Freddy's, and that's a red flag. Her main contribution to the FNF community were the mods she made. A mix of her animations and mods clearly appealed to a lot of people though, because she would soon hit 100k on YouTube. Dude, how did no one see this coming? Not only did she like FNF and FNAF, but she also had over 100k subscribers. If my book, Board Orange's Art of Commentary, has taught us anything in this generation, it is that people with 100k don't have any morals, lads. Not a single one of them. May 10th, 2021. G day. Someone began tweeting about how Komodachi was dating a 13 year old at the age of 18. I'm not saying they're a pe by dating a 13 year old when you're 18. Unlike the way everyone is reaching is hella sus. Flushed. Now this makes things very impossible to confirm. She confirmed it. <laughs> Hello followers. Everyone that has been going through the ruckus, people spreading rumor about the thing. Let me tell you that dating a 13 year old is legal only if you don't do sexual stuff. And is a disorder. I don't have that. Well, how f***ed up? You're just repeating that they are 13. Quit your Kodo and realize you are dating a child. So what? I realize. Once again, I need all of you to keep this in your mind palaces for later. Because as we can all see here, she is clearly aware what she was doing and did it anyway. This is an 18 year old who doesn't understand the problem of dating a 13 year old and the many issues that carries. Instead of walking back this claim immediately, she instead doubles down trying to justify this relationship by saying that there wasn't anything physically sexual going on of the minor. Anyway, the person I'm trying to date has absolute consent about it and we both searched for legal terms. And in this country, the age of consent for sexual activity is 18, but it is not illegal to date without sexual activity. I have no desire for that and everyone is just saying that I'm dating a child. They aren't saying what I could possibly do to this child. I take the full responsibility and delicacy to help this child develop in life like a big sister or parent along with his parents. But if his parents aren't going to be good example, I will be. And I'll make him learn that a healthy relationship is a good friendship. It's not about the sex stuff. It's about human values, rights, and stories. I'm a demisexual and I guess asexual, but I would never take advantage of him and neither let him take advantage of myself. Here is your answer. I'm making a wall of text while their only argument is just, you're dating a child. Sigh. Like fine, I guess. You're not committing statutory Congrats. However, here are the many criminal acts you are doing. She even uses textbook 
fucking language. But oh yeah, you wrote a wall of text defending yourself. I'm sure you're fine. Except the age of consent isn't 13. What aren't you getting? Oh, what's this? Look at that. There's drama in her Discord server. I can only assume her entire Discord server said she was a massive idiot for her to make this response. I'm disappointed in every single one of you. And I mean it. The server will now officially be deleted. Because I didn't wish it to be toxic. This isn't a server anymore. What's this? You don't like me dating a 13 year old at the age of 18? Well, you're just toxic. Get the hell out of here. She then made a response on her community tab post. And you know what all this text means? It means being positive and staying strong all the time. If you guys were in my situation, haha, <laughs> you guys would think about suicide. But hell nah, I'll still live up to help others. I think this is why FNF developers are slowly moving away from all of you. Damn. This is the moment I separate myself from shitty judgmental people and get along with great people. And you know what? This is worth it. Because I won't have people lying to me and I wouldn't lie to them back. At this point, Komodachi's responses to any of this have been embarrassingly bad. Like, really bad lads. But it seems even someone as dense as Komodachi realized that maybe acting like everyone around her was the problem was a bit of an int on her part. So she actually apologized. Hello again everyone. I had a proper rest even though it was short, and I realized how much I needed to get off YouTube to become human and remember who I am. So thank you. This guilt is excessive. I, as a Brazilian who is still learning English, figured out yesterday what means, and I feel rather disgusted and uncomfortable is a law and a disorder this disorder it would affect my life to an extreme if i had it i wouldn't be here i would have been stuck with a therapist instead what i did was a mistake and you guys are just repeating yourselves like a broken record if you were to be parents your kids would already be depressed over a mistake please don't do that to anyone no matter how strong their guilt must be because you all did something wrong in life and it would be hypocrisy to blame others but not yourself sorry did i say apologized i meant dig her grave firstly the argument if if i were a i'd be in therapy doesn't work because oh i don't know maybe a wouldn't admit to being a pedo secondly i don't get why you're upset over people rightfully calling you out for being a p by saying they're repeating themselves i don't know how else you want the words you're a p to be said want some different languages because i'll oblige anatawa pedo that last bit is a character attack and a code you didn't just do something wrong stop trying to downplay you someone as a mistake this lady should not be around kids what are you lot doing she literally admitted it was wrong Hals, can i be completely honest i knew it was wrong but not the consequences i don't want to seem like i'm trying to excuse myself but i didn't know this problem would be big and you know what it is big all i can do now is just accept it i want to blow my brains out holy before we go further down this rabbit hole of mirth, she has done this before. So, she was a prominent member of this community? Yep, yeah, that's how she manipulated almost everyone to support her, I suppose. So, did a lot of members know about her dating a 13-year-old? If so, how did they respond? She told me that if nothing sexual happens, she could date a 13-year-old boy. And she also told me that she wouldn't do anything wrong with this child. This is all just set up, by the way. It was just context for the video I was supposed to respond to a whole eight minutes ago. Man, I hate this shit. So after realizing that changing her name to Mirth wouldn't be enough to beat them allegations, Mirth made two responses to everything, and I'll be looking at the second one, as it was not very good. <laughs> Two long years ago, a controversy happened. The allegations, the evidences, everything in theory, I acknowledge them. But are they all 100% true? I believe you know my answer, and it's no. I will not apologize for something I haven't done. Therefore, no channel that addressed my situation has my full respect. I'm sorry, but you content creators failed to impress me. Yes. I accepted the abundance of criticism I have received ever since it happened, and I made the best use of it. You didn't, actually. In fact, you seem to do the exact opposite of you taking every single opportunity to say that you did nothing wrong, and that people are judging you way too hard. Cry me a river. What I learned from everything is, don't go near problematic kids or adults. That's it. Nothing else. So after saying that you accepted valid criticism levied at you, Mirth then blames the minor for being problematic. You know, I never thought I'd see the day where a groomer would blame the minor in this situation. She does this multiple times in the video, by the way. Mirth at one point even says that the minor was, and I'm quoting her exactly here, the minor was asking to be This kid was in my emails asking me to be his girlfriend and practically asking to be we are 40 seconds into this video and it has already lost its head and gone into the bin. Of course, as the same person, I refused and sent the entire B-movie script to him. <laughs> Come on, it's funny!
After I posted a new video, he apologized for what happened. I said to him to at least speak to his parents about his problems and what he might feel, and if possible, he might just need a bit of therapy. Now folks, therapy is never bad. I got it myself a few months ago and I promise you, it's worth it. So I thought things were done there, but he still went through my emails messaging me that he would kill himself. He was going to kill himself because I didn't want to be his friend nor girlfriend and g In the end though, he didn't kill himself. <sighs> he just straight up tried to manipulate me by threatening s Do you see how kids can be absolutely stupid and how they can manipulate even a young adult? In the year of our Lord and Savior 2023, we have Murph saying that the minor manipulated her into a relationship. Like, fair enough. You can be scared that the kid's gonna game end himself all year one, but that doesn't explain why you kept up that relationship with this minor for an extended period of time. Murph talks about how she did nothing sexual again, see, 11 ago. Murph then said she wasn't a fully developed adult. I was 18, and even being an 18 year old, that doesn't mean I'm an adult with a fully adult mindset. I can tell you for sure that most 18 year olds aren't as mature as they think they are and you only fully develop yourself after your 20s. Normally I would understand and agree, but that kind of goes out the window when you a kid. When I say that everyone deserves a second chance, I forgot to leave out this little fine print at the bottom, unless you're a p Murth admits to having contact with the minor through a friend, which might not be the best idea in the world. The most recent news I've gotten about him despite having cut off contact with him was for one of my close friends. He is living a healthy life like nothing happened. He did not kill himself. She keeps on admitting to really f***ed up things. Why is the ratio in this video so positive? And to answer an obvious question, I have no interest in children. I am straight and I like men, and I love to have a man like Lee and Kennedy in my life. <laughs> don't, don't question me for liking Leon, okay? He's one of the men that can make other men question if they're straight. <clears throat> There's no way she actually caught a joke in the middle of her defending herself from grooming allegations. I don't want to self-promote too hard, but come on, dude. Murth then spends the next half of the video making character attacks on her critic, calling Turkey Tom a n- Turkey Tom. He has a pretty knacker way of addressing scandals, doesn't know how to let certain situations rest, and he was once racist and allowed anti-semitic content in his channel in a single video before. Not sure if he still is openly racist, but he can be very mature with taking criticism. Here's a video about his immaturity, despite being a bit old now. I hope he isn't secure about himself as he was before. And then saying my dear old friend Harley TBS was a l and still watched l Harley TBS, one of the main people who addressed my situation, had defended Lottie Pornography just talking the video for 12 minutes. Trust me, I watched the deleted video entirely and I lost brain cells. You can watch the video in the description. If it gets deleted, you know who did it. It's odd to see someone defending Lottie Pornography. It almost feels as if Harley looks at Nobody in their sane mind would defend that unless they enjoy it. I can confirm that Harley still watches related content to this day. Just make sure when he reaches his 20s, he doesn't become a complete weirdo. She then says that Toastify was a bad person because of his ex? That he broke up with right after finding out about the stuff they did? This is so weak, dude. Toastify? Oh boy! Toastify on stated a girl who supported and while being in a cult about it. Her name was Watermelon the Cat. On his video on me filled with opinions and evidences twisted in his favor went viral, he decided to cut off contact with her. Mind you, his ex was exposed before, yet he didn't seem to pay any mind of her being exposed. This is an assumption, but I don't think a guy like him who's so against would have overlooked this. It's a clear attempt at trying to discredit her critics and shift the blame. Thank god she can't use either of these on me. Because shielding himself from criticism by criticizing orders seems like the perfect idea to make everyone overlook his problems. There is absolutely no f way she lacks this much self-awareness. Did Yandere Dev program this AI dude? I'll leave you with Muff's conclusion. The reason why they wanted to make me look so bad instead of making a video against someone like Seth the programmer, not hear the other side, not even interview the victims or the ones truly involved? Money! 
money and views, boys and gals, because that's how capitalism works and they don't really care about you or your mental health, at least in general. Just to not be a hypocrite, I will not monetize this video for the sake of being a serious topic. If ads appear in it, it's probably YouTube main YouTube. The only content creators I really tolerate while they monetize their content are Sony V2 and Keemstar. If you aren't at their level, then I can't respect you. So there it is. To all the content creators and their audience, I am not apologizing to you, you are not the victim, you were not involved, and you were not there. If you ever make a video about this, just know that I will not listen to any of your twisted stories and opinions. Regardless of what I've said in the past, these are the facts, so take it or leave it. At this point, you just really want me to a child and that makes you no better. You guys in particular never care about my health so I should not care about yours either. You keep talking about and thinking about kids, I do not care if you justify it for someone's drama, you're still thinking about it. Stop it, you sick This last part truly shows how Mirth really feels about everything. She can try and run off and hide from the mean, mean commentary channels making videos on her, but the stuff she did will never go away, no matter how much she tries to lie to her audience. Speaking of, this video has a mostly positive reception, and not just that, the comments are actually mostly in support of Mirth too. can't go one day without drama in this community. Hopefully everything calms down from here on out. This is the rare moment Kerbo shall forgive. Sorry you went through this. I hope after a good mental break you can continue to make the funny videos we love. I will say Mirth is definitely filtering out comments or just deleted mine. I think that's the very end of the video and this ridiculous story. I ended up spending more time on the context than the more recent stuff because of how hard this waste of space tried to deny all responsibility. But sure, whatever. I'm only here for the money and views. While Mirth might seem like a cookie cutter child diddler, she manages to separate herself from the pack by being extra stupid with every response she makes. If she knows what's good for her, the next time she leaves, she won't come back. That's the end. Thanks for watching. See you lads. Well,